weather update. Lee, thank you so much. We're continuing to follow breaking news at noon. Former New Orleans Mayor Maurice Moo Landrieu has died. He was the mayor of New Orleans for two terms and the father of former New Orleans Mayor Mitch Landrieu. WDSU anchor Gina Swanson takes a look back at his life and legacy. When it comes to New Orleans politics, he is the most transformative figure in public service in modern times, and even that may be an understatement. But his service to New Orleans is still being felt in every facet of life in the city. Born Maurice Edwin Landrieu, July 23rd, 1930, to Loretta and Joseph Landrieu, who owned a small grocery store on Adams Street uptown. His mother tended to the shop while his father worked for Nopsy. The youngest of two brothers from a working class family, both the Landrieu boys graduated from Jesuit High School. As he tells the story, he got the nickname Moon from his older brother Joseph, and it stuck. Landrieu earned a baseball scholarship to Loyola University, where he would eventually serve as student body president, and that's where he met the love of his life, Verna Satterley, who had wanted to become a nun, but she left the convent to marry Moon instead. After graduating from Loyola, Landrieu enrolled in the university's law school, where his classmate eventually became his lifelong friend and confidant, Norman Francis. Before being elected to mayor, Landrieu served a stint as a state lawmaker from the 12th Ward uptown. He ran unsuccessfully for city council in 1962, but then won an at-large seat on the council four years later. As a council member, he pushed for a city ordinance that would outlaw segregation in public services. That was in 1969, and it would set the tone for his victory in the mayoral campaign. In 1970, Moon Landrieu was sworn in as the 56th mayor of New Orleans. He was only 40 years old at the time. He took office after having earned 99% of the black vote, a clear referendum for change. But Landrieu was born in the Jim Crow South and not naive about the hard-fought battles ahead. Still, he pushed forward with the intention to make City Hall more reflective of the citizens of New Orleans and a determination to make government accessible to and work for all. He transformed city government, appointing the first African-American high-ranking city officials. All of this while raising nine children, many of whom also went into public service. After serving as mayor, he held a cabinet position in the Carter administration as secretary of HUD. He also served on the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals. He was a progressive before that was a popular term, and his political rivals ended up on the wrong side of history. How do you pay tribute to the life of a local political giant? Even a simple walk along the river, you're reminded of his legacy. How poetic that a man named Moon shaped the Crescent City for generations to come, making New Orleans a better place for her citizens.